Well, more than 30 years after three women were murdered and another viciously assaulted across Indiana and Kentucky, the suspect dubbed the I-65 killer, or the Days In killer, has finally been identified. Harry Edward Greenwell died in 2013, but investigators say they're confident that he was the person responsible. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli joining us now. Courtney, how did police come about this breakthrough here? Well, Dan, for investigators and families, this has, of course, been a long, long road of searching for answers. And these recently came through a method called investigative genealogy. It uses investigative DNA analysis combined with traditional genealogy research and historical rest records to find leads in unsolved violent crimes. It showed investigators Greenwell was more than 99% likely the person who did this. Today might bring a little bit of solace to you to know that the animal that did this is no longer on this earth. Long overdue justice now delivered for the families of Vicki Heath, Peggy Gill, Jean Gilbert, and a woman in Columbus who survived a violent sexual assault. All at the hands of Harry Edward Greenwell, a career criminal dubbed the Days In or I-65 killer. The match was 99.99999% positive. Investigative genealogy confirmed Greenwell's link to the crimes, but other evidence tied it all together. The Indiana State Police Laboratory subsequently matched ballistic evidence linking the Gill and Gilbert murders. Both victims were sexually assaulted and shot to death in northern Indiana on the same day in 1989 two years after Heath's murder in Kentucky. The Indiana State Police Laboratory also later matched DNA evidence linking the Heath and Gilbert murders to the Columbus, Indiana case. Investigators say the courage and help of a woman who survived her attack gave them not only DNA, but a description of the suspect. That was critical. Uh, in being able to solve this case, and it was a, truly a turning point in the investigation. Their focus today was justice for the victims. Jean Gilbert's daughter, Kim Gilbert Wright, says she's thankful for answers. New chapters of healing will begin for all of us involved, and those chapters will be written differently for each of us. Wright says she now has peace, and the final words her mother said, I love you, I'll see you tomorrow. I didn't see her that tomorrow, but I see her every day. Now, because I-65 runs from Gary, Indiana, down to Alabama, investigators say their work is not finished. They believe Greenwell could be connected to other unsolved cases. In the studio, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Okay, Courtney, thank you. As she mentioned there, Greenwell has a lengthy criminal history dating back at least 20 years before this murder spree began. Our digital team broke down the timeline of his arrests and convictions. We have that over on our website at fox59.com.